Now, the likelihood is probably low. We saw it yesterday with Chaos versus Liquid. These are the heavy hitters. But they waste no time trying to kill Art down to the bottom of the Pop Dog. Of course, it is shut back down to the favor of Furia. Then the 3v2 ensues. Yuri, he is hot on their heels. And they're trying to find their way out from this Pop Dog onto that A site. A bit of a struggle with a player back site. Henny. He's trying to keep himself in this, but Barton, his patience could pay off here. He's back inside Tcon, gets Henny, but then he dies. And Yuri, he's looking for it. It's him versus Maluk, and a fresh reload could do him well. Re-peaks, lots of bullets down range. He just needs the one. Come on, gets the headshot, or eventually find the frag. Yuria wins, Yuria. Yuri wins pistol for Furia. As a result of that, trying to dip out of there as fast as possible. That hefty grenade damage onto Barton and Mulbs. Mulbs in particular, definitely a player to watch out for as this best of three continues. But the MP9s shred him and shred Barton alongside PRT. Two kills come back to back for Team 1, Pacer and Maluk. But now it's all down to Pacer with a Deagle in tow. And he runs out of ammunition, runs out of health. Furia take it 2-0, but it's casualties again. MP9 for K Serato. Henny, close up. Close up. Takes one shot, falls back. Then it's Mobs to try and aggress. He gets Vinny. Now there's the second kill. This is big. Massive entries over on this A site. And K Serato's position not meant for that weaponry. Art nowhere to be found as he was still over towards that B site where this whole round began so well for Furia. Can Team 1 feasibly steamroll the site at range when they're up against AKs or M4s, pardon me, and Ops? Probably not as easily corpse and used it against us so information being gathered but the value of it is running dry and they need to keep their players alive they tried to go in for a flank with prt but that has backfired and now henny playing up close to the site has yuri to help him out one more time two frags to his name team one post plant 2v4 no utility between the two of them but barton does catch vinnie as he tries to line up a pop flash to try and make a move through there barton holding the line oh Pessa. That's a beautiful tap onto Henny. And it looks like they may be able to hold on to this 2v4 after all. Or maybe not. K Serato is still alive, but time starting to become a bit of a factor. And there is Pessa in an off angle. K Serato not anticipating that. Here in the top halls. Looking for the head of Barton, but these T's, they're getting dangerously close. And I'm curious how long Furious stick around with this. They already have the five versus four, but now it gets taken right back. Barton, double headshot execution as they lingered a bit too long. And the B site falls beneath them, but bomb. Oh, check out Vinny. Oh. How? How has Maluk pulled that one off? And Team 1 should be good to, to post up some real digits on this team half. And it wasn't looking likely when they went 3-0 down. Like, the nature in which they lost those rounds was it was looking a bit bleak, to be honest. No way. That's K Serato, blinded by a teammate in an attempt to entry. And now the T's look to bounce right into this A side. I talked about cranking the dial. Benny, he shuts down the player in ladder, but Barton is a beast and Art will finally end him, at least this round. But Vinny's taken damage and it's still the 3v3. Vinny, low HP though. So HP favoring Team 1 already centralized over on the A side of the map. They're gonna go for that plant. Post plant first kill going the way of Team 1. And Art with the AWP will have no more impact than the lowly frag that he picked up earlier. Yuri. This is where you feel pretty helpless and pretty down about things. You call a timeout, you still get battered pretty much the same way. And it doesn't look like they're going to save too much. Vinny's just going to have to sit in this corner and hope for the best. Now they're going to go into this B entry, ready to hit it hard. PRT, oh, he's looking for the hard entry, gets it. K Serato losing his head. Yuri on that FAMIS. The lackluster rifle is not doing work just yet, but Yuri, he could find the best of timing here. Bomb plant coming through. It's not denied, but still the planter dies. Art with another great off shot, and it's low health for the two remaining T's. Make it one. Maluk preemptively dropping the molly on it, but there he goes, peeking into Art, who uses that off to get himself a crucial 3k. Going overly aggressive. This time it didn't work out, but if Art dies in main, that round is an entirely different outcome Ooh. for my money. So look at all these smokes outside and a Molotov kill on Barton. 
as they look to try and push through into A main. They are all together, clumped as one. But Henny has perfect vision of the oncoming tsunami of T's, and he is going to put down the blockade with the rest of his teammates. Spray down, and for the first time in a rifle round in quite a while, it's an off angle that can be difficult to contend with. Especially if you push out without any flashes or smokes. There's a lot of angles you have to be weary of here. And time is running scarce. Ten players left. They flash out for Case Tomato holds on. And there's no oh. time anymore. There's a team kill in amongst all of the chaos. And now Maluk, the only player to actually frag the opposition. Fury tires back up. They all had guns up, just ready to try and hold. And Team 1, a little bit of disjointedness and lack of a clean first entry meant same result. Different strategy, similar outcome. And this one, yet again, is being completely turned on its head. Understandably, as Team 1 have so little to work with, waiting to get their economy back online. But Henny gets the double to close. Seven would just be so much sweeter. Grenade over, lots Oi. of damage to Pacer. Fortunate, at least from Team 1, that no one else was near him, but now they're going to look to charge in there. And Art, look at this stack. They have two players with two more coming straight in, and it's all the way of Furia. The Brazilian powerhouses once again shutting down the opposition. Oi. Art from downtown with the grenade lands at flesh on Pesa's head. You know, everybody on the team speaks for Team 1 right now. They uh, they don't want to tell them to go die, but they know it's going to happen. So with Art already finding footing on this A site, I am not surprised. But yet, nobody's died just yet. Maluk trying to find one through smoke, and it's Mobs to find that opening kill here in the second pistol post plant. Oh, all right. Another little USP tap to the head of Yuri. Art's going to answer back. And this ID position is so strong when dealing with the retake attempt because the CTs can't come around the bomb train. They can clamor over top or push towards e -box, but that doesn't get them closer to the defuse. Oh, Art just omnipresent in this post plant. It was looking possible. However, Team 1 will concede and double digits first for Furia. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the lifelines that goes with it as well. And with the double doors and the doors on Dust 2 of the B site changing, I would actually argue... And Art, I mean, this is what he does. This is what Team 1 are not used to. They are only starting to turn their backs at this point, and Art is already inside Z. Holy hell. You know, they say you can win games in practice. I tried to uh, I tried to drop that line yesterday. And the problem, I think, for Team 1, and this is a conversation point all the time, when you're going up into a game versus Furia, if you want to practice versus a similar opponent, but does keep himself alive. The downside here for Furia is actually they do have a lack of utility. One smoke and HE. They don't have the, one of those Molotovs. Now they do. It's just been picked up from a court. That's excellent news. If you are Furia, this post plant looking a little bit shaky though. They're stood on shaky ground and Henny is going to try and plant his feet and hope it doesn't crumble beneath him. But it will as he gets reeled out from a headshot. Two players left. Bomb is picking down. Case Serato, one versus three. Molly has landed on the site and that could be enough to secure the round. And it is a heartbreak for Team 1. They eradicate all the T's but still can't get the objective done. They know that they're about to get blown out of the water unless they can turn it around right now. Barton and Maluk, I like it. Face fire with fire. They go into the upper halls. They take that early fight that has so often been there. But Furia, they have a plan B. That is eject down the ladder room and perhaps get back onto this A site. But keep an eye on the radar because bombs been dropped back in those upper halls. They don't know whether the T's actually have it, but Yuri, he's got nothing to do because the defense stands tall. They turned it around. They went for those aggressive peaks. They took a chance, they took a gamble, not only investing into the double sniper, but throwing them both up there at B. Running thing, but a rallying cry behind those double orbs would be oh. an excellent way forward. But as I say that, one of the two orbs has just been slapped down and aren't nearly spinning around with the no scope behind it. He's gonna send shock waves for PRT. He has to turn tail and run. Molotov there to greet him, has to change his angle again. He's now very much vulnerable. Slap bang in the middle of the map and Art is just gonna go in for another one. Team one, they mounted up that 
valiant round, but it seems like that's all they're going to have on this CT side. Their economy is good enough to justify a buy, and of course, they're going to have to go for one. They're eyeing up eight map points. They should be able to get a good purchase, even if Bartin is unable to save his AWP. But man, Scrawny, this is an, a Furia who are taking no prisoners. They want this over with real fast. I can see us moving on to Mirage and the game giving us more of that. Regardless of what side Team 1 play on, they may just have to go toe-in-toe -to -toe with Furia, trying to fight them on the front lines. They're able to shave off a couple of ladder players. What remains of Furia comes out from Tcon at a man disadvantage. The smokes allow them to close that distance. PRT losing half his health, still able to stand tall and maybe even taller. He takes to the top of the green train. He's got enemies and teammates all around him. Now it's all on Yuri. One versus three situation and he can't get anything done. Another round for team one. Close to smoke, Barton just on the other side of it. These are the kinds of plays that make him a step above, but oh, you poke the bear and you get slapped back. Maluk finding the headshot onto Art does help. Minute on the clock and the commitment's here to be made. Maluk, he could get slain by another player upper. Oh no, it's Yuri to actually find him right before he crosses over to plant bomb. Then Henny swoops out ever so slightly. This could be map one in the bag. They almost had their chance. Barton, he bit off more than he could chew. Malbs, one more and he's done. It's all on PRT. We've seen him alive in these post plants, but not often enough has he come in with the clutch. This could be the big one. He gets the player off the site at least, but now he needs to close that gap and deal with the ramp room. He's got one flashbang left to his name in Furia. They play Ring Around the Rosie to close here on train. Henny, he's going to peek out off of the bomb tap. PRT starting to sweat bullets, and there's no chance he has it. Team one falling on train to give Furia an early advantage. You know, it's a little pessimism, but I would call it realism. Uh, they will have their hands full, especially with Furia starting off on the T side, where you know they're just going to try to do what they did on train, where their opponents were meant to be more comfortable. They're just going to run rampant. Just really crank the dial here and see what they can do. See how much they can chew through of the CT side. Barton comes looking up, staring in the face of God. Yuri winks back at him. And of course, the CT picks up the frag. So Henny now, he's looking to shut them down from their spawn. He gets the gush onto base up. Barton doubles back to try and kill the man in mid. But it's a 4K from Henny in the pistol could allow for them to just continue playing off of each other. Quick clash, real fast, right at the top of mid. And that was what I was anticipating coming out of team one. They had their most success on the T side of train when they could set the tempo. Well, Mirage opens up the defense for this type of aggression way more so than train. No diffuse kit. If you had a kit and a smoke, I'd say maybe he gets real cheeky, but he still finds a little bit of a timing here to try and make something happen. Misses his shots, and that will absolutely cost him. Still no op needed on Furia, and it's not going to be that top mid clash straight out the gates. No, sir. They're going to hold back a bit more patience inside of Connector. A flashbang goes over, but nobody makes their move. And even then, because they didn't rush, you still have Furia right inside of middle in just mere moments, but pace up perfectly timed. A second flash goes over. Excellent bit of aggression. As you say from Payson, the timing couldn't have been better. I just love watching the utility. It's so beautiful to watch Furious mid takes. Everything is so well oiled, so well drilled into place. And now Vinny, one verse four, doesn't have the bomb that actually just dropped behind him with his teammate. He's gonna have to go back and pick that one up. Smoke put down onto market, making sure that the apps are also molotov off. There's another one for him. So he's getting all of the trimmings that he could want, but the downside is there's four plays up against him, and it's yep. going to be PRT. They do still have Yuri inside of the ladder room, but Barton, he'll have his hands full on apps. Molotovs burst inside of the smokes. Vinny, he goes down as he tries to entry, and Yuri activates from the catwalk to cut off at least one, but PRT still stands for a little longer. Pesa takes his position on the back of the bomb site as what's left of Furia has fallen downwards, but hasn't fallen out. Not yet. Another trade. Back the way of Furia. One versus one, and Maluk, he could find the best of timing. With bomb out in the open, he just can't get tunnel vision, and he won't. Finds Case Serato, trying to figure out what's going on. Into the realms of the underworld. 
Does have a smoke out for the time being. Not going to get peaked wide. Pace up comes out, and there is Mobs. He is on point to deliver. And Team 1 take the first two. That's going to put a lot more pressure on Furious' shoulders, especially if Henny's being tagged down. Not fragged, and Case Serato stands tall for at least one. Yuri sneaks his way into the ladder room. It's going to kind of balance on Yuri, I think, finding the timing, but he gets caught out by Pesa. He was just watching for that junk, that connector player, and turns his attention a second too soon. Case Serato, oh, he knows he's screwed if he just falls down onto them, but there's not much more to get out with. So four standing for team one. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be engulfed in fire, but they seem to thrive in it. Doing well so far. Pace up, looks to trade it off of the ramp, but he only gets that first one in art. The patented MAC-10 head slap into the off swap. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. PRT, he's gonna try and work closer to that A site, but the damage is already done. They strong arm their way out of the ramp, getting the better of the two defenders hanging out there. And then Art, well, that was just the icing on top. But PRT, there's a chance, man. He almost opened up an avenue where he could have smoked that bomb and tried, you know, double underhanding flashbangs. And now Furia go back to their tried and tested smokes in middle. It's going to be another A centered push. Mold smokes himself into a safe position and it's allowing the rest of his teammates to rotate, but they've both gone down. Maluk now showing his hand. Oh, the oh. second shot is sublime. Henny gets splattered across the pavement. And now Art 1 versus 3. They may not expect him to be up close. Right through this. I'm going to secure a bomb plant at the very least, or perhaps not. He's playing for the win. You've got to respect that he has the confidence. And now Furia into a very rough buy of just the one AK-47. But I say that as Art drills into Pesa with surgical precision. And now looking to change his attention elsewhere. That's not ideal from Mulbs. I can understand to try and get aggressively into Palace as the upper ground is going to be very difficult to deal with. But in doing so, he just gave his back up for free. And that's now an extra AK-47 that trades hands. Art goes in for the peak. They baited out his teammate of Vinny with the CZ. And now Barton from range puts him down. But it's too little too late. There's only two players remaining for Team 1. They are just coming at him quick. Like you said, the round definitely in the hands of Furia, but what about the weapons in the hands of Team 1? Barton doing all that he can, but Yuri, he just saw the barrel. That's one of the snipers removed. As time goes on, sure, he still gets the one kill, element of surprise, and he takes down a big scalp in Art, but then it's the tease to just move right through. They trade him out at the base of that connector. Bomb being chased by the MP9 falls victim to Henny's patience. Vinny, he's the late lurk, and he gets his second kill. Mobs, he's gonna get hyper aggressive, jumping out from the market. Oh, a second D out of nowhere, and Mobs, he's just gonna look to stick the bomb. Vinny's nowhere to be found. Mobs, that is miraculous. They wanted a solid lead and instead they find themselves behind. So Keserato, instead of standing and fighting, he decides to fall back in kitchen, which is such a good play. It does put more pressure on his teammate of Art, who's gone down, but it also facilitates a much more powerful retake, which is now coming to fruition. Plenty of headshots have landed though. Vinny, Henny, Yuri, all low, all struggling. And maybe Mobs can just continue where he left off after that first half. Flashbang tossed in from Yuri, actually doing more harm than good for his teammates. And now they're spinning, they're pivoting, and Mobs has put down three frags oh. for Yuri and Henny. Simultaneously take out the stragglers. And they have a kit and enough time for the defuse, but AKs included. And meanwhile, Furia, they're sizing up the A ramp. So this is a double MP9 versus three AKs. This favors team one. They immediately get both kills. Thanks to Mobs, he keeps himself off the top rope of apps, drops the bomb carrier, or rather, defenders, excuse me. Like, they had every chance to win this. And right now, they are in the lead. Furious saving three guns, gonna have a decent-ish buy. But the pressure is really on the favorites both inside connector. And this looks very much like that A site split. If they can cut off the mid players, this would be massive. And down goes Barton. Now they can retrieve the weapons at the base of mid and go into this retake attempt. Attempt. It's sure it's without a kit, but they still have plenty of time. 
Yeah, the bomb's only just gone down, so they can take their sweet time. Even when that smoke clears, a good flash from Molbs and Maluk capitalizing. Molbs now holding the line, and it was looking good a few moments ago. Furia able to really stamp down a lot of presence in middle. But Serato does have a kit just ahead of him, but needs to find both these players and will drop at the first hurdle. Molbs again peek in its tracks and now he relocates and does get the tag onto Barton but won't be able to finish him off and to make matters worse the Fury of Vinny tries to finish that frag and just gets headshot instantly that's putting more pressure on connector but Art stands tall for that and passes the test Yuri now hiding in the smoke of shadow is gonna have to try and wiggle his way out he is an integral part of this defense right now. There's one traded 2v2 scenario. Even if Yuri were able to jump on top of this retake, it's a great cost already. And they're going to oh. do just that. But they lost three players, so they're going to have to replenish those weapons. But Henny really did make the difference there. He picked up two. Vinny, he's on the ladder room, and he dies to Malt. Ten health left over. AK best. M4. Case Dorado playing with nades, caught by the aggression. Mobs just ripping a page out of Furia's book. The chapter entitled Art. Bomb has been planted. And there's the bomb plant that comes off of it. So if you were just mentioning how Furia are feeling the heat, how they are not out of the woodworks just yet, Vince, they just got shoved right back into the depths of the Amazon. Sort of a scenario where maybe these A players could have justified the retake attempt. Malbs is the difference maker. He is the Barton of map two. And Henny, oh, under pressure. They did force in a similar situation to this last time, but they realized that they are dangerously close to conceding their map choice for the first time in the last three months. And Malbs goes in on Arts. One of the two weapons they were able to save has already dropped down. Henny with the AWP does what he can, but his teammates are falling around him, tries to push behind that smoke, gets sprayed out of existence. Oh, and there is Case Serato Maluk hopping up into the air. He gets burned to underneath Palace. This could buy time for Art to come over, but he's so worried about Malbs being hidden in some sort of a corner that his teammates are going to be slain on A. Art, ooh, he gets one kill, and oh, Henny, he had a chance. He had just crept his way around those boxes. They clear everybody else out of the situation, and Art, he can't even get into the engagement because the fire at his feet prevents him from doing so. He can play close smoke, but that's about all his options. If they get a little too uh, aggressive in this scenario, if they give him room to work, then they deserve to lose, because don't you dare write him off. It's the one versus three. Would he go for the ace? The odds so unlikely. He checks the flank, and that's where Barton shuts him down. But look at those HP bars, and tell me that wasn't close. Furia doing an excellent job of stalling the T's, and if they're gonna push, it's gonna have to be basically blinded, choking on that smoke, and choking on the bullets being put down range from Vinny and Art. But Art has been squashed. PRT makes moves onto the site. <gasps> Headshots are plenty, delivering them all first class. And that smoke is gonna keep him alive that little bit longer, giving sanctuary from Vinny's location. As Henny's taking so much damage in the kitchen, this is actually a feasible round for Team One to pick up. But PRT caught switching, switching to a Molotov. Down to Henny, and he gets picked off from Maluk. Unbelievable! They actually take Furious choice of map, and we're headed to Nuke. This is not a map that Fury are necessarily super powerful on. And if Molbs continues to land shots like he did in that last map, this is going to be a very tough ask. They're already going to be vent diving as well. A player up on top of the hut is Vinny, not anticipating that they'd be waiting for him in Squeaky. So a post plant and Team One have multiple players still alive, still kicking for a little bit longer. Art putting bullets down range, doing significant damage to the bomb planter. And then finally finishing off Bartin. But Maluk and Pessa haven't really shown the hand too much just yet, but the bomb is being defused. It's all down to Maluk, and his head gets removed from Yuri. Much better from Furia. Understandable timeout. They were in a very awkward position. PRT spraying up. Gonna get take a bunch of damage, down to 45. 
And Pacer, aggression straight away, through on Squeaky, yields two kills, Barton gets the second, there's a slight gap in the smoke and they're gonna make the most of it, Furia, but they need to be careful, if that, if that Molotov extends, it's gonna kill both of them, oh my they god, both hold the line, big grenade comes in, takes the life of Art, shredding Yuri in the pro steps, and there's Henny, oh. death from above, 3-0, but always standing up here constantly a threat on top of the hut roof we've already seen molotovs come in and counter his position but look at this they're going to immediately try and rock this one back towards ramp art he's got the aug in position cuts down the first two players bomb down into the open as well this is looking easy for art but he tries to get pesa who's having none of that and grabs that bomb to now immediately shift attention elsewhere Great Molotov, but be careful what you wish for. It forces Keserato back against the wall. Underarm nade nearly takes down Pacer. If he'd taken another pace forward, he would have been put down. He's going to be coming out, going for that full-on plant. Knows he's going to die afterwards, but actually just gets wall banged because of the damage that he took earlier on. Is the ability to get aggressive. Oh, nice. Barton with a deagle headshot into Henny, who is just looking to play patiently on back ramp. A second from Barton. Here he is. The man that rocked the world on train. So be That's... nerf wracking start here, Scrawny. Mm -hmm. For this round. The 5 0 start that we also got on Mirage. Looking to happen again here. Barton, he's gotten himself a third. Is he legitimately going to pull an ace out of the hat? Oh my god, the damage from Vinny through the wall is ridiculous. He may not live to tell the tale. But unbeknownst to him, oh he's tagged god. all three players through smokes, through walls. He'll have no idea how winnable this round actually is. I feel so bad for Vinny though, man. The smallest of weapons. They can go big. However, Henny posted a bit more aggressively, and Maluk takes that sniper, of which he saved, and gives it right back into the hands of the CT. Now, Furia. Oh, they're mad. They're upset about the last one, and they have just whooped three of the members of Team One. Pesa and Malb's all that's left over. It's a matter of breaking through, getting that kill, and starting to move forward. But he also has only 7 ADR. Very well put. And that, that is kind of how Team 1 feels on this T side. They're hoping that Furia make mistakes more so than them make big plays, but they're now going to take control. They're going to dictate the pace of this round. Molotov down into vents, solidly done. Allows them a little bit more luxury, a little bit more safety in endeavoring onto this A side. Any watching ramp, being cognizant of the fact it could be getting pushed in, but now realizing that won't be the case. The bomb has been successfully planted on A. One of the few bits of success that Team One can celebrate of this half, but the celebrating can't come just yet. Mobs gets his first and his second of the map in the same round, and Pacer is standing tall alongside him. Henny doesn't want any part of this fight. He's looking to save, which will give Team One their second round. So they're at least going in the right direction. It seems like Henny will be able to hold on to his AWP. The economy's not in place for Team 1 to sacrifice these two players. What is this? Oh, he nearly landed that shot as well. Gets it on the second time. There's another player down there. This aggression has got two kills. How has Barton survived that? I was sure he would get countered as soon as he got the pick onto Art. And this hyper-aggressive round seems like it's going to pay out in spades. Team 1 taking damage from that grenade, but it's the healthiest of PRT that takes it. And so he's okay to absorb that shot. Deagle misses out on Barton. I cannot believe Barton survived this round. That again, they are given something because it's still the man disadvantage. And for all they know, there's three players for Furia stacked up on this B bomb site. In fact, that's almost the case. Henny, he gets one in PRT trades. 20 seconds. Time of the essence. They've got to get in on this fight. They've got to get kills, and they've stumbled on both of those fronts. PRT, 19 HP, looking to raise the site. But the only thing raising is Furia's overall score. They have two players still stranded down on B. 
That's exactly what's going to happen. Sure, they got the kill and they dealt with Pesa, but it opened up a bit of timing where Mobs can absolutely go huge, but K Serato, through his shoes, keeps him honest in heaven, gives him his wings, and he never has a chance to swoop downwards. Bombs confirmed and dropped, and it all falls apart. Furia finding a nine. From the foot to the head with an M4 full round. Speaking of which, though, Maluk, he's going to put that deagle to use. Arts will play no further part in this round. 15 Whoa. tracks to his name. Yuri's getting pushed. It's raining men. And Bart <laughs> Hallelujah. Really takes this out. Good shot from Vinny. Three more players outside. Another one deke. Team one in one of the roughest buys of their entire half on the brink of making it work. They won rounds like this. Oh. And he's going to get dinked. That's... Should be another player down. Okay, unorthodox, but it works. He's gotten down into position in time. They may not expect the doors to fly open. The bomb planter just in the smallest piece of cover. Nate at his feet. There goes his HP. PRT on 35. Caserato's going to drop the smoke, use the flash to push past, and he's just looking for a smidgen of an angle. A couple shoulder shots would do the trick to the player on sight, or does he drop the opera first and foremost? PRT, relying on his teammate, sweeps out at the perfect moment. I do worry a little bit about this, though, because it makes them that little bit less mobile. And then moving into Caserato, nearly sprays Pacer down, survives on 5 HP, but there's 30 seconds to go Strawny, and the bomb's been dropped. Oh, that yeah. could be the round. That's that right there. The double sniper setup comes back to bite them. You saw Pesa in hell have his barrel shown and gets tagged up by Caserato, and then the other offers trying to entry out hut. This map on Nuke and Maluk should be empty-handed. He tries for the kill through the smoke, but it just doesn't quite happen. And now that bomb's gone down. Well, it's not gonna keep the things at bay though. Stuck on the back of Silo, Art comes out with his Glock, looking for a second slide gap, and that smoke, and he pierces straight through the smoke, straight through PRT's head. But Maluk is still standing. It's not a one-dimensional retake positionally for the T's. They have players on both doors. And Case Dorado's gonna close the chapter find another kill here because it is the man advantage mobs walks back they're not ready he hits another headshot and art well he was closer in the corner so there is a trade frag but even then mobs does half the health gone art on 52 case serato 100 and these t's aren't together as team one goes shoulder to shoulder inside of hut with a mag seven and a deeg and the two hut players Staying in position, Art drops the bomb so he can maintain the upper ground advantage. Some damage inflicted, wide swinging, spotting multiple players, pushing his situation. He's still standing, still alive somehow, but he's round of ammunition, which is going to put more pressure on Case Serato. But pressure means nothing to this man. And Furia dig themselves out that ditch a little while, and he needs his teammates to come in. Mobs, who's had a slow game. Now would be a great time to step up and step up. He does. Onto the throat of Case Serato and Vinny goes down instantly afterwards. Excellent work. Bomb dropped in an awkward position. Maybe Yuri can suppress Mobs for the time being. I think Maluk just dropped down and took damage there elsewhere. Down to 40 HP. A little bit awkward. May not end up mattering a great deal, though. But he goes back in. Still doesn't have control of the bomb, but sprays into Pacer. Now they know that Mobs was last spotted around the hut area, so. Yuri with a bulbous brain gets that B site. Oh no, he doesn't plant. He comes off, and that's enough. Oh, they just call his bluff. With both hands and just slice. Furia in half, but Furia wastes no time getting into this B-bomb site. It's already been compromised. A perfect shot from Malt. Instant kill versus Art. Yuri's gonna be lingering outside to catch that secret flank, and everything's gone fantastically for Furia. They've got a bit of energy left in them yet, a bit of life left in them, but it's not looking good. Furia, 14-6 lead. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again, Scrawny. Think about how Yuri got a crucial kill on Secret just last round of the post plant that never gave Team One the chance to retake. Maluk, oh, he gets caught. He had been watching that cross. Malt, Deagle on the bomb site, two players on the other side. If this site falls too fast, then maybe he never has the helping hand he most certainly needs. 
He's got a player pinned behind the door. If he swings this open, then Vinny, he's trapped in the corner. Vinny, he's got a bit of a problem up close and personal, but there's Case Serato to try and bring this one back. They're now both on the bomb site. They just slipped away from the two-man secret flank. The flash comes down from ramp room. Case Serato is going to just keep himself pinned in, trying to be the smallest target possible. There's the first kill. Can't transition to the second. This map keeps on giving. One has to make Case to play with. Plenty of weaponry, but they've lost the first player, and then he goes in for two. Typically, the AWP now picks up the AK and just rips through the CTs, taking over the site in the process. Malbs and Maluk left, and they're separated, isolated, and they're being eviscerated. Malbs, the last man standing up in heaven, 10 kills to his name, can't add an 11th, and Furia now have eight match points. They're gonna go for the B plant. And they should be successful in those endeavors too, because the bulk of the CTs are up on A. They're up on ramp. They need to rotate through. Yuri is watching for this flank on secret. Oh, they might line up for him or not. Maluk wide swings with the deagle and takes his head clean off. Henny still perched at the back of the site, hasn't budged an inch since planting it successfully. Now has to try and save off the onslaught. Vinny, again, right place at the right time. He may never land all the frags, but he is so impactful. And he could be the man that finishes it all off. Furia slipped and slid out of Mirage.